opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers. Stay up to date with all things cricket. Subscribe to Crick Buzz's YouTube channel and press that bell icon now. Dharamshala, game number two. DK, I'll come straight to you. Obviously, there were six changes from the previous series to now. Are there still, is there still more room for maneuvering slightly or you want to stick to this 11, get it done and then perhaps look at another uh, little bit of a change come Sunday? <laughs> look, I think if you do look at the team, I do think the only person that I feel can play at this point of time is either Siraj or Avesh, just to give them an opportunity. One of the fast bowlers decide to take a break. The batters, none of them have even batted. So, obviously, it'll be really unfair on, you know, obviously giving any of them rest there. So, I don't think they'll do many changes for the next game in Dharamshala, but it's going to be a really high-scoring affair uh, in Dharamshala if there is no grass on the wicket. It's an absolute belter there. Yeah, certainly a good example, Zaheer, would be someone like Sanju Samson, who today was a specialist backward point fielder, took one catch, otherwise was just part of all the wicket celebrations. So, he'll be hoping that he gets to bat a little higher in the order this time and not have someone push him out like Jareja. Well, he'll, he'll, he'll still hope that the start is, is uh, somewhat good. You know, when, when you're batting in that middle order, you need that start always. Uh, so, so he will think that, okay, you know, I need to bat, but I still need a good platform set when I walk into bat. You don't, you don't want to feel that pressure of, of, of having to uh, go out there to bat, you know, when, when you're two wicket down and you have to rebuild the innings, you know, if, if you have that freedom of batting, any batter will, uh, will prefer that when the bowlers are on the back foot. But other, other than that, I, I, I don't see any, any possibility of change. You know, you would want to con continue with the same kind of playing 11, uh, uh, depending on what, what you're doing first but uh, but I think uh, in terms of stability or uh, giving people chance uh, like DK said you know fast bowlers is, is, is something which 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 uh, we can think of if Bhuvneshwar wants to rest and then uh, uh, bring in uh, Avesh or Sirajit. One more point I'll finish with the Indian team and it was just unfortunate at the start of play uh, warming up in the nets, Rituraj Gaikwad felt a little pain in his wrist. He was not able to hit the big shots. Physio had a look at it. They left him out of this particular game. Now, assuming the wrist is fine, assuming he's good to go, DK, do you tell Deepak Huda, look, you did come in for that injury. We need to give Rituraj the place back. Yeah, very much possible. Uh, you know, going by how they've uh, made the changes, if, if Rituraj is fit and raring to go, I think he'll get an opportunity. The interesting part is sometimes the beauty about Rohit's captaincy is the fact that he is willing to just bat anywhere if he is able to give people opportunities to bat at spots where they are comfortable with, even though the series in many ways hasn't gotten over. So, I don't think he'll be too fussed about it, especially after how the first game has gone. But it's going to be interesting to see uh, if that is possible. But I do think if Rituraj is fit, he'll definitely come in. And if that happens, we might just see Rohit Sharma go back to the position he did in game number three against the West Indies. So, Gaikwad, Ishan Kishan open, Rohit Sharma at three, Shreya Sayer at four, uh, Sanju Samson specialist, backward point. Now, he'd get to bat at some point in time. <laughs> so, that's as far as India are concerned. What about Sri Lanka going in? They will need to do something to come back in the series. Sort of how we talked about the West Indies. Um, they obviously won in Doha Saranga for different reasons, Mahesh Tikshana as well. So, not too many to choose from other than maybe a Kusal Mendes who didn't get a game here, Zaheer. Well, it's a, it's a tough one, isn't it? If if you are in Sri Lanka's camp right now, it's, it's actually a tough one because you bowled first, you've given 199 away. Then you've, you've gone out there and you've not really uh, chased that total down uh, to the best of your abilities. You know, so so which way are you gonna go? It's it's always going to be a tricky one, and 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 also when you look at the scheduling, you know there is there's hardly any time in between. You know, so in these kind of series, you you actually whether you are in uh, in Indian camp or you are in Sri Lanka camp, you would want to just you know have that stability around in the camp. You know, so you wouldn't want to do too many changes, uh, too many shuffling around. Uh, travel day in between. So, it's not that, you know, you're going to go out there and think that, okay, let me see the, how someone is going in the nets. Whatever playing 11 you put today, you actually made up your mind uh, thinking about different permutation combination and you felt that this was the best playing 11 for uh, for, for today's match. So, uh, so I think, you know, both the teams pretty much will will like to just go in with, with the similar kind of playing 11s unless there is a force change. Uh, but I, I don't see any changes uh, in, in the next or the, or the game after that. 
We'll see what uh, Sri Lanka try and do to try and find a winning combination. Someone like Danushka Gunatilaka is trying to find his way back into the side. We all know he was part of that trio that uh, had an unfortunate run-in and were out of cricket for a while. But uh, coming back to uh, this series, coming back to Saturday and Sunday, let's look at Saturday. One player to watch out for from Zahir, I'll come to you. Somebody you'd like to see or you think will be a key player to watch out for on Saturday from either camp. Well, for me, I think you know I'll I'll pick a bowler from uh, from Sri Lanka's camp. You, know, you, you would want to start uh, on a good note, maybe you know get a couple of breakthroughs. Dharamshala is is known for those kind of conditions as well. Like like DK was was smartly putting it out there that if there is no grass on the wicket, then you know we'll see a a, a run piece there. Uh, so yeah, if there is a grass and and Chamira comes into a good rhythm. He can uh, knock some more early, and that's what Sri Lanka would want. Uh, so I would say Chamira from uh, the bowling side. Uh, with the with the Indian side, I think you know uh, it's just everyone seemed to be in supreme touch. Uh, you would want to see Ishan Kishan continuing with that form. All right, no bias there, of course. Dushmanta Chamira, Ishan Kishan, DK. What about you? I'd love to see uh, Shreya Sayar get uh, another big opportunity and another. You know, uh, he's batting really well, so I can see him doing well in Dharamshala. And uh, when it comes to Sri Lanka, I'm very keen to see if Kusal Mendes can play. He got a 50 in the last time uh, against Australia in the last game. So, if he is fit and he's ready to go, I think uh, he can obviously, he's some batter who can uh, you know hit boundaries up front.